Okay, so today is July 9th, 2018, and I am cat sitting for my neighbors. The cat doesn't seem to be too close, but they were worried she might get lonely if nobody was here. So I'm coming over a little bit once in a while, not for too long, but maybe an hour. And I feed her, and I feed the fish too when I remember to. They have their own food, but he said he'd like me to give them a pinch of food too. And so that's that's kind of the small neighborly thing I'm doing. The big thing in life, of course, is always my work. And what am I doing this week? I made a list. So the big thing that's been kind of a problem is that I needed some models. I needed models and some data for to be able to do any kind of analysis. You can't analyze non-existent data. You can't just make stuff up. So I had a lab mate who was supposed to be taking care of that because my focus was supposed to be on analyzing the data, not on necessarily producing it because the professor didn't think I would be able to do that. I wasn't completely sure, but the professor didn't have much faith in me to jump in and take care of it because he said it can take months and even years to become proficient with a 3D modeling system. So I, you know, I was kind of like, well, he's the expert. I'll defer to him for now. But the other guy was also having trouble with it. And so when I missed my most recent deadline because he had not finished something, I think the professor was getting a little frustrated. I'm not completely sure. But I decided I would kind of spontaneously volunteer to try to put the tower together in SolidWorks. Now, I'd been trying to do that for a couple of days. And anyway, I came back. And of course, I did actually start putting it together in the lab today. But everything came together much better. And so I got the eight-sided and the six-sided model done. It turns out the six-sided model was much, much trickier to put together than the eight-sided model. And that was not something I expected. I thought they would be very similar and I'd be able to use similar processes. But for some reason, the circle shape, I did it in SolidWorks. The circular feature feature was not working the same way in the hexagon. And it didn't have... Like, it has a front face and a side face. In the octagon, those were perpendicular to each other and lined up with walls. So it made it much easier to do everything I needed to do. But with the hexagon, it only lined up with one pair of walls. And then I had to figure out how to get the other four walls to work when the circle tool the circular feature tool was not working as expected. And then the plane tool was not working as expected because I thought I could just set up my own plane. That's the logical thing to do. But none of it was working quite right. So I wound up with kind of the ugliest, hard-headedest workaround, but I got it done. And I'm really glad it was right on the first try. I mean, the, the octagon was not. I had to tweak that one a little bit. But once I had that one right, I went on to the hexagon and I managed to get it right on the first time. So I'm happy to have that much done. And my lab mate asked if I wanted to try to put together the four-sided tower too. I might. But yeah, I'm I, I did well with that. In my kind of fun life, I've 
the Steam sale ended recently, so I had a few new games that I had picked up because they were on ridiculous discounts. And the one that I've been playing most was actually an impulse buy for like $2 because it came in a packet with another game that I also bought that I was curious about. And that was some kind of monster card strategy game that I could... I do stuff. I play monsters. They charge at your castle. It seems like it was a PlayStation Vita original, and I understand there's no multiplayer for it, which is unfortunate. There's another game that I picked up called Armello. I've been looking at it for years since it released back in, like, 2012. It has a great artistic style, and it's kind of fun, but I think I'll just play that one once in a while. It's a great once-in-a-while game that's kind of fun when you play it, but then you don't want to go back to it again right away. And the last game that I've been playing recently is one called Niche. I'm not even completely sure it's fun, but I'm I'm like enjoying it a little bit. I'm learning how it works, and it's kind of challenging. So you have a little tribe of a couple of, let's call them dogs, because they're kind of like dogs, but they're not. And you have different features, like physical genetic features that you can develop and adapt. And the game is about how you adapt your tribe to each of the islands you come across so that you don't run out of food and can survive in the environment. But of course, because every island is different, each one kind of needs a different approach, but you always have just the same tribe members. And if you're not careful about your selective breeding, you can lose the traits that you maybe wanted to have for later and end up with people or dogs that are poorly adapted to the situation they find themselves in. So it's kind of interesting and fun, but I'm not sure everyone would enjoy it. It's kind of a nerdy game. But this video is a little bit longer than I intended. I'm hoping I can start uploading again. I found some... I found editing tools and then promptly forgot about them. So I'm going to have to find them again and be able to really edit and post some stuff.